AWOL Nation dropped their new album, The Phantom Five. Uh, mm-hmm. This is another band that you know we both have known the names of, had checked mm-hmm. out here and there, um, but never never dove super deep into. Um, I feel like Glory has known about them a little bit longer than I have, but it just feels like AWOL Nation is just one of those names where like you just know it. You know it. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, my first introduction to them was when I was a big 21 Pilots fan. I think they toured with them. Mm-hmm. And I remember going, damn, I wish I had them as my opener because my opener was not good. I will say that with my chest. They were awful. <laughs> AWOL Nation, I wish you were there instead. Um, I really like this album. Um, as, I, as you said, um, I think we've both known the same for a couple years mm-hmm. just in passing, but never actually got to listen to them mm-hmm. or kind of like dive into a record, singles, literally anything. I had no so idea what is, I was getting into. Exactly. I don't think either of us knew like a drop of what they would sound like or except for their literally their biggest song ever that I think everyone on planet Earth knows. Um <laughs> So going into this record, I was expecting something like Sale, but did not get that at all. It is a alternative pop, I'll give it. I think that's that's a fair assessment um, record. I think it is, it's a lot softer than I expected as well. Um, so even on the pop side, it's kind of leaning more on that indie pop alternative which is great i think it's it's fucking amazing um it's not like singer songwriter guitar indie pop but it is very um there are, it's it's very different from throne <laughs> just putting the two next to each other Dude, it is the whiplash from so done of throne <laughs> right. going into jump sit stand march the first song off the awl nation record yeah. i was like turn yeah. it off turn it off like, turn what it the off. fuck is happening for the first like five seconds of the uh the awl nation uh i thought it was thrown for like because i was like what the fuck they're are getting they doing? weird i was like oh my god they're getting like fucking crazy on their last there, track there and wasn't I looked, a breakdown and I was like, oh. 10 seconds into the song starting it's like what's happening are they okay did they mean to upload this and then i realized it is a completely different record and a completely different band um i really liked this uh once i got past the kind of whoa this is not at all what i expected this is not the sound i anticipated i like it a lot i do i i really do um i think it's great yeah yeah i'm 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 a fan of the record you know as as glory prefaced um you know we both kind of went into this not really knowing what to expect uh, despite Mm -hmm. knowing the name and and knowing the big the big song um so you know when when the first song started jump sit stand march i'm like whoa what like what the fuck is this and it's still um i'm not a huge fan of the song it was a little it's like off-putting in a way Mm -hmm. um which i think might be the how it's supposed to be yeah because i was getting the same vibe i was like i don't think this is supposed to be a charming song yeah yeah it's very it's very off-putting and as someone that that's not familiar with the project um and didn't know what i was getting into it it it's it's an interesting song to say the least um and and kind of had me like confused and also like should we pull this off the fucking um the the playlist um yeah Yeah. i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna let it play through i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get through it because i'm like not gonna i'm not gonna text Corey and be like i know that band that you kind of like i want to yank the the record off the playlist because i'm i'm not i'm not fucking with song number one i'm like (laughs) i'm a big boy i can listen to a couple of songs um i i started slowly getting into it but the the turning point for me was i am happy um was the first song that really for me uh clicked Mm -hmm. i'm a big fan of that i think that it's it's super upbeat it's super catchy um I, i also do like that throughout the record there are you know it's it's definitely like alternative pop indie mm-hmm. pop leaning but there's also a lot of electronic elements throughout the yes. record which i am a big fan of um but i like i am happy um especially the the first half of the of the the song because that was like the turning point for me in the mm-hmm. record um also a big fan of bang your head and i was gonna shout that song out yeah too. and, and honestly barbarian like those three songs in the middle was kind of like where i was finally like I'm into the record, like I'm sold on it. Uh, I yeah. like I like the record in its entirety. Um, you know, still not a fan of the opener, as I said, but uh, everything else I thought was great. But the you know the tracks uh, four, five, six are probably my favorites on the album. I think that that yeah. those those songs are fantastic, especially "Banging Your Head." Um, 
but overall a, a solid listen weird not something mm-hmm. we would normally cover um mm-hmm. but as uh, you know that that name fi- familiarity and yeah. it being such a small singles week we're like oh fuck it we're gonna we're gonna give a new a new record a shot um, exactly and i'm, we'll I'm glad goes. we did they just finished up a tour with 311 and neon trees so if it came near you i hope you had a great time because that's 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 a pretty sick bill um yeah yeah. But uh, you know, I'm sure I'm sure they're gonna be touring off the back of this record. I don't think they're gonna come home. You know, the tour finished like right around the time Bye, the record dropped, and then just be like, yeah. all right, that was great. I'll see you for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> see you in a year. Yeah, yeah fuck that. I, 